my, my name is Bob, but I'm Bob. This film is about me, and we're going to start at Queen Square. Would you like to come into the House of Horrors? Personalities, I think. <laughs> she's uh, good as a support worker and she's also good as a friend as well. And she's also very helpful and also tr trustworthy as well. Because uh, I find it hard to trust people. Uh, tomorrow night's supposed to be veg pasta bake. Try to make sandwiches sometimes yourself, but. Uh, but I would like to try doing more. But I think a lot of the time it's lacking confidence, really. And trying to help me to be more positive. My name's Shannon Franklin and I'm a support worker working at Queen Square. I support all of the tenants at Queen Square. And I'm Barbara's key worker. I think me and Barbara have just got on from the start. From when I started, we seemed to, something just clicked. Helping Barbara today just gives her the um, confidence. When we come in, we try and get her to do more things, like Barbara's not very keen on using sharp knives, so we try and help her with using sharp knives and doing the things that she's not happy with doing. I think since I've started, Barbara has become more confident. Seems to be more outgoing, willing to try new things. One example would be Barbara starting at ACC, which she absolutely loves. Barbara normally comes back if I support her in the evening when she comes. She does come back very tired, very tired from ACC. Um, we normally have a chat and ask her what she's been doing, whether she's been in the polytunnels or labelling or... She always seems to come back very tired, but very happy. Had a good day. One of the uh, clients here at Audingbourne Country Centre. I've been working in the uh, organics field, uh, putting compost on my bed ready as a prepare the bed for so, uh, plants and potatoes. We uh, sell them to the public and some vegetables that we grow in our own beds we might take home ourselves. It gives us the confidence that we learn. It gives me new skills for possibly getting a job in a nursery, maybe. My name's Jay Ray, I'm the organics instructor at ACC um, and what we do to, uh, what we've been doing today is um, working in the polytunnel first of all to do some seed sowing and make some uh, recycled pots um, out of scrap paper uh, and then we've come up to the top field and we've been working on the pumpkin beds and a couple of the clients who've got individual beds have been working on their beds like Barbara and Norel. I think organics is really important to the centre because it allows the clients to have a lot of freedom that they don't always find in some of the other departments. It's very hands-on, very tactile. I really uh, encourage clients to grow the things that they want to eat and to take home, um, to taste things, just to, to smell things. Um, we can be quite creative in this department. There's not a massive financial sort of burden that we have to make loads of money, but saying that we make money by selling really high quality vegetables. Um, it can help all sorts of abilities um, and we do have all sorts of ability of clients working in this department. Um, 
I, I like it because I think being outside is good for the soul and, and I see a progression with the clients that is really positive uh, and also can be very calming as well. This morning so far I've been uh, moving plants outside the front greenhouse uh, so that they're ready for selling to the public. It helps to give me confidence to to learn new things and to to be with people and to be out with friends and to and to be out of the house and in the community as well. I'm Richard Ackerman. I'm the horticulture instructor. We're doing quite a few things today it's uh, because it's high season in the hot culture unit um, we're moving a lot of new stock that's come in we're doing a lot of planting today a lot of pot filling and obviously because it's a nice day a lot of watering barbara at the moment is um, moving some plants onto the bench for us for display purposes so joe public can come in and hopefully buy all the plants um, and later on she'll be helping me doing some planting as well um, I think uh, her improvement are um, the, the calming influence. I think my group is fairly calmly run. It, it obviously gives the movement, so she can she can do the work what the other guys are doing, uh, moving around a lot. But uh, it's not heavy work, but it's just keeping uh, the mobility going. So if she has any problems, we get her a sit-down job. But I'm trying to get everybody to do the work when I can, when I can walk around and move around, so to keep the mobility going. Uh, so far tonight, social club, uh, painting, uh, east, uh, eggs. It's nice to get out in the evenings rather than being at home all the time. It's important to get social clubs to be uh, with people, to make friends. I'm Emily, I'm the drop-in coordinator and I run the drop-in centre and the My Network and the My Network Plus services which are up here. Social club's important because it gets people out and about, it gets them to meet new people and it offers peer support, which is something that if they're stuck at home and they only see staff members, they often don't get. And it means that they can come and they can share their problems with people that aren't members of staff and that aren't sort of bossing them around and telling them what to do. It's people that are of the same age and of the same sort of, on the same level and they can chat and share their own experiences and they get to meet up in a safe environment rather than going out somewhere where it's not always safe and they can get picked on and sometimes they even get lost so if they come up here they'll know where they're going they've all been here and it's familiar um, and it just gets them out doing stuff rather than sitting at home watching the telly doing nothing I'm at, uh, I'm at uh, Creative Art Studio doing art and craft this morning all the projects we're doing this year is of the Chinese New Year, which is going for the exhibition, which we're hoping to have in June. Did help us, and they also are very good at showing you something to good at showing you what to do, and also good at not knowledge of these subjects as well. Very f helpful and very friendly. <laughs> I'm Lou Partridge and I'm a creative arts instructor in the Creative Arts Studio which is based at number 64 in Bognor. Um, in the Creative Arts Studio we have groups of nine or so people, um, different people each day and we do all sorts of arts and crafts from traditional painting and drawing to um, needlecraft and knitting, crochet, paper mache, mosaic making, anything really that's creative that we can adapt for our students to have a go at. 